933 hours, uh, Shawneeats Fire District was uh, asked to respond, page to respond to a, a structure fire. Um, first address we got was about the thousand block of uh, Southeast 85th. We're, uh, we're at 8549 Southeast Adams. Um, first units arrived on scene, uh, reported the uh, structure 75% uh, contained, or sick correction, 75% uh, uh, involved with fire. Um, we uh, got on scene, started attack as quick as we could. Um, obviously, in an area like this, uh, we have uh, some problems, obviously, with uh, not having a, uh, a, a hydrant close by. Uh, we're running a tanker operation where we're uh, bringing in uh, uh, water tankers uh, from um, all our departments. Uh, our, our tankers are about 2,500 gallons each to 3,000 gallons each. Um, we did call for assistance from the uh, 190th Air Refueling Wing Fire Department. They're here on scene providing manpower, an engine, and a tanker as well. They've got a, a much larger tanker, uh, which uh, provides us quite a bit more water. Um, right now, uh, looks like at this point we've got the uh, fire contained. Um, we're going to be here a little while. We've called the fire marshal's office to uh, uh, come out and investigate for us. Uh, so we're kind of waiting on him, uh, kind of keeping things down. Um, so. Uh, We'll be here a little while uh, until he gets here, and uh, then we'll probably go forward and dig out and find out what happened. Nobody was inside? Nobody injured? Uh, everybody was uh, out of the house at the time. The uh, homeowner was at work. He's got children. Um, his children were not in the structure. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we, everybody was out of the house. Or out of the house. So it uh, um, looks like that uh, probably going to be a total loss of uh, contents and the structure at this time. It's a it's a remote area, you know. It's a, it's 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 a, definitely a bedroom community out here where uh, people, you know, they live out they live out here. Uh, um, they subsist out here during the uh, evening, afternoon and evening hours for the most part. Um, do have quite a bit of ag here, uh, but uh, you know, this is truly an area where you know where where nobody for the most part is at home. Uh, you probably have a drive by. Uh, somebody calls nine one one from a cell phone. Uh, somebody happens to look out their window. Um, it was relatively early in the morning, so uh, you know somebody just happens to look out and, and, and see the smoke. They're going to call it in. Um, you know, so um, if a, if the fire started inside the home, it's going to be raging inside the home for quite some time, even before somebody sees it. So uh, um, well, once it breaches the inside or breaches to the outside, comes through the roof or comes through a wall, it's been raging for quite some time inside.